by the way, this is my first time shooting street photography. I'm by the way in, uh, in Tantra, it's a city here. Uh, pretty insane. Then I never shot really something here. Really bad, right outside. Yeah. Okay, coming. Yeah. Uh, probably my first time shooting something at home. Like in this city, uh, I never shoot in this city, and it's probably already so weird to talk to you. Actually, nothing right now. Is this recording? Yeah, it is. So, I know the trams look good on photos. So, yeah. But no tram is coming so far. And it rained a few minutes ago. So So it rained a few minutes ago and the street is all wet but it didn't rain so that it creates uh, puddles and stuff so that's not good puddles will be really great and but yeah first time doing street photography uh, yeah oh here's a puddle uh, yeah let's shoot in this puddle the reflection of the car but no car is coming right now, so yeah, let's see. Get this camera. Get that off. Yeah, that's a cool photo. That's a nice one. Got that guy. And shoot. Uh, anyway, um, like I'll talk a little bit, but um, yeah, you can see the photos on the left side, and there's a tram coming. So I need to find a puddle. I can't find a puddle here. Wait a minute. Uh, it's not coming soon. Uh, yeah. That will be probably a good shot of the cyclers. So, that's a good shot. Yeah. You'll probably ask why I'm shooting in this uh, shitty bag because the forecast said it's gonna rain. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna rain. Maybe it's not. Oh, no, there's a crown coming in. This is a perfect way to put it. Maybe I'm gonna shoot landscape. Probably. Because it's tram and get the settings right where I want it to. And. Oh, I did a panning shot. Oh, the memory card's so slow. I wanted the panning shot, and we maybe got it. I wanted it from the uh, front. I didn't get it from the front. But anyway, let's put the camera settings back. One point. Let's see. Let's shoot on a two point two point five actually and shutter speed should be a little bit higher 
and this is a nice shot by the way I'm using Canon ADE with a 50mm like here, here you know it's a really good lens but for street photography it should be more like a little bit too this is a crop sensor so it makes it a little bit like a 70mm mil, 70 mil, uh, kinda but still 105mm would be nice to work with there's a puddle let's go straight to the puddle on the street in the middle of the street and there's a tram coming so I missed the tram anyway uh, yeah let's shoot through the puddle with some cars right there Let's pretend we're shooting building and not the cars because yeah. That's a nice shot with a little bit of foreground. The car would be nice right there. Yes sir. Go past right there. Screen. Is this the same car? Wait a minute, what the fuck? I didn't even saw that. I never went here and shot some uh, photos here. Yeah, that's a nice puddle. Again, maybe I'm gonna shoot a little bit closer from the puddle, or more in the puddle. But let's see. when the car was passing by that should look cool right there that should look cool oh there's a gym I don't think I'm gonna shoot people in the gym because <laughs> yeah we're talking about gym today Waiting for the car to come and not focus on shit. Okay. Oh. Yeah. By the way, let me. Uh, by the way, tell me how you like this POV photography, uh, street photography, or would you like something else like um, uh, on a video shoot or something pov video shoot because i haven't seen that actually a pov video shoot that would be a little bit boring actually because the video shoot is literally uh, just standing there and waiting for the actors to warm up and talking to any uh, the people the actor the actors and that's probably not what i want a little bit boring I don't want to talk, uh, talk in English, so that's fucked. But like something for for like the a car for the shoot or something like that, or something else. Just let me know in the comments below, and we will see that. I'm gonna talk about a few things today. This video won't be long, uh, so relax and just enjoy me taking photos. I have a shot. Uh, 
pretty sure that wasn't focused. Oh, that looks good. These lights look good, actually. So let me see my settings. Okay, let's bump the ISO a little bit up. Yeah, that look good. Yeah, like a portrait from that. Like a person standing right there. That will look sick. Let's get the setting backs. ISO 100. Yeah. There are people just waiting. Looks interesting. Yeah. There are actually a lot of fronts that are like that. A lot of fronts that are coming here. So I want to get a uh, panning shot of that. Um, yeah, that would be pretty cool for today. I think. Then we go to the city downtown. And yeah. Let's get the settings. I hate this camera strap actually. I don't know why I use this. Sometimes I need it, sometimes most, most of the times I don't. Get on F22, let's bring the shot out like F, like four, one fourth of a second. And let's shoot some cars. Okay, that's actually really slow. Let's do one eight, one eight of a second. Ah, that looks a little bit. Let's go once, one fourth. Yeah, one eight and F fourteen is good. So there's a crown coming. Fuck slow memory cards. I hate those. Did I go one? Maybe this one. Not that in shot. Maybe this one. Yeah, that looks not that in shot. Yeah, I didn't got this. Let's go actually in the middle. Let's fix our settings first. So let's go again with one 200 of shutter and one uh, f1.8 and shoot down there and wait for a crown no crown coming back there let's shoot right there this would be actually a pretty sick night photo and then the car coming so obviously i have to film that i always see film i don't know why i'm more like a videographer You know, I'm more like a videographer, not a photographer. So, I almost, say, almost every time I say film and I shoot, I don't know why. Actually, there are not a lot of people right there. What the fuck is happening right there? No, it's not. I didn't know there were that little people around here. I thought there were a lot of more. Um, yeah. And by the way, if you're thinking, I'm not just said you want to post every Friday a vlog and not something like that. 
right now nothing is happening in my life so nothing really exciting so I just thought like what should I post I can just stand in front of the camera and say hi boys I don't have something to post sorry uh, yeah I'm posting this because I have to and so YouTube knows I'm posting something so I don't want to do that I actually want to post something and just shooting street photography right now uh, so I have something to share with you I don't want to post nothing or just saying that I don't want to post or I can't post because my life is fucked up right now yeah Uh, yeah, that actually is the hardest part of YouTube to post, to keep posting uh, every week or every week twice. The thing you have to you have to commit to something. Like I want to post every week two videos on Monday and Friday, and you won't. It is easy to post for the few two or three days or weeks for some people but it is not easy to post for like a long period of time like two or three years it's not it's actually way harder than you even think or life of course uh, but that is the hardest part of YouTube. The hardest part is actually to go read the comments. No, I'm not even kidding. But yeah, you have to read some comments, obviously, because people that are watching you and commenting, they're gonna say they don't, they don't uh, cooperate with the audience. They're gonna watch you, and they're gonna stop watching you because you don't reply or or see those comments and suggestions and you don't do this in your videos you have to read your comments but most of the time or not most of the time but a lot of people just like see your comments uh, a lot of people see your videos and write shitty things about you just like yeah your English crap you're pretty much cringe and stuff like that so a lot of people do that and this is a little bit tricky to deal with in the beginning it's like a few comments like two comments or something and most of them are like oh keep going that's a little bit like yeah i need that even if you think that this is uh, not a lot of support even if saying like yeah keep going and stuff this is actually a lot of support like saying like your video are pretty good your, everything is good this is a lot of support for the creator but the hardest part is to deal with the haters so the camera just went in my jacket and you were able to see nothing um, yeah I was just saying how hard it is to deal with comments from YouTube like um, if you are creating content for example me and just uh, creating videos every time I post something people don't comment it but they tell me hey bro just stop this is cringe it's getting cringe and your English is shit. I know my English shit. If you're American, if you're watching this, write in the comments all my English is because I'm from uh, I'm originally from Pakistan. Uh, here in Germany, taking photos and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I will be a study here, and I can speak fluent German, but I want to make content in English. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was, I was just saying that because everything is just way harder as a creator. Let me cross the road and talk there.
so yeah, so the cars are gone. Um, so everything is just hard for a creator. For example, like me, I was just like uh, walking around, have a camera on my chest, nobody even could see it probably. And they're thinking like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like taking photos of shit and talking to himself. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? This shot looks pretty good. And oh my god, I didn't know this was a, this existed. Like, can you see it on the top of the roof? Like that, the pictures. And it's actually a pretty good shot, so I might take it. 